Hlaðanna. Hillsið þér frigg, drottning áskars, gefið ég fæðingar og visku. Ég man eftir hljóðinu, þegar viðurinn splundraðist, ílfrinu í vindinum og öldu skellum í andleti mínu. Úð mín fröys úr kulda sem var ólíkur öllu sem ég hafði áður upplifað og skipið okkar sögg. Í vægðarlausu djúpi sjáverins tók hálf gegsætt neyat ránar við mér. Ég var dregin dýpra og dýpra í átt að gyðju sjáverins. Dauðin var komin til að sækja mig. Bara áttu vil ég sálar minnar myndi ekki næja til að slökva þorsta ránar í bráð sína. Myrkri kom, en þegar ég vaknaði var ég ekki í höll þangs og beina, heldur í kyrð og þögn. Long before the internet, even before the printing press, stories were shared by the human voice. Most cultures have a rich tradition of oral storytelling, when communities gathered to hear news from the village over or explore the worlds of gods and legends. Traditional oral storytelling appeared in many forms, from campfire tales to traveling poets reciting sagas and epics. Yggdrasi, tenging hina nýju heima, gullfallegur. This communal experience fosters an intimacy and always reveals something about the teller and the audience. Myths and folklore shared in this manner take on the cultural influences of the speakers and are shaped and changed in the telling. Though the original version of oral storytelling has largely disappeared, the tradition lives on in films, comics, and video games. One such game, Jotun from developer Thunder Lotus Games, represents a return to this tradition of storytelling. Jotun tells the story of Thora, a Viking woman disgraced in death, who travels through the afterlife to prove herself to the gods and earn a place in Valhalla. The game is heavily influenced by Norse mythology, as Thora encounters a number of gods and legendary creatures along the way. In helgi mýmis brunnur, þar sem ég fórnaði auga mínu, mun endur nýja bæði líf þitt og krafta. Thor herself narrates her journey in Icelandic with English subtitles. She's essentially the tale-teller, the speaker recounting the story of her travels. The Icelandic narration strengthens the experience, helping to draw the player into the tale and adding a layer of authenticity. Hearing the story directly from Thor also creates an intimacy with the player, a crucial element of any storytelling. Öskur samferða manna minna og óvinna hurfu á bak við þrömugnýinn. Ég fann bræðið af mold og blóði. Fötin límdust við mig þar sem ég hljóp upp á óvinni mínu og gróf eksi mína á bólakaf í hvern þann sem dyrðist að storka mér. Í gegnum stormin sá ég föðu minn og dökkan skugga á bak við hann. Ég hrópaði varnarorð á honum en allt kom fyrir ekki. Faðu minn var myrtur. The narrative structure of Jotun, along with Thora's voiceover, reflects a modern interpretation of classic storytelling. Jotun's visual style also supports this argument while adding additional layers of meaning. Jotun's art style is beautiful with hand-drawn characters and backgrounds and smooth stylish animation. The game appears to be a classic Disney film brought to life, full of cartoony style and colorful, memorable characters. Just as traditional storytelling influenced Disney, so has Disney influenced Jotun. You can trace the through line from one medium to another. Tales change in the telling, and tellers change with the times. The visuals also convey the mythic heritage of Jotun, with massive enemies filling the screen and dwarfing Thora. She often gets lost in the chaos. The world of Jotun exists at a certain level of abstraction, with just enough detail to convey the setting yet still remain dreamlike. The world is created in broad strokes, much like a storyteller weaves a tale, leaving it to the listener to fill in the blanks. Much like storytellers respond to their audience, so does Jotun respond to the player. Exploration is rewarded, often with tangible rewards like new powers for Thora. However, the intangible rewards offered are more interesting. There are hidden locations that will provide additional details of mythology and folklore. 
These are the real storytelling rewards and are definitely worth seeking out. Hirðir höfukúpu ímis, dvergur í norðri, mistar í norðanvindsins. Jotun isn't the only recent game that represents a return to traditional storytelling, but I think it's an ideal example. The combination of narrative journey, intimate voiceover, hand-drawn visuals, and rewarding exploration combine in a package that both draws inspiration from and offers commentary on traditional oral storytelling.